going to be all the updated toys and shoes that my hamsters have for 2014. First thing I have is this um, activity assault course and this is in my bedroom and I let them play with it while they're out in playtime. I then have some bubbling sand which I guess is a toy because they have lots of enjoyment using it and that is also lying around in my bedroom. I then have the large flying saucer which is that one and the medium size which is that one. I'm now going to move on to the box which is full of like the natural toys and these are all natural and not coloured with any dyes or anything. So I'll go through these. First of all we have this seagrass tunnel from the naturals room. And then I have a, another like bendy log bridge. I have another bendy log bridge and this is from Via there and it was like 80p so it was very cheap. But they've gone up in price now. We then have this other bendy log bridge and this is just a natural chunky one. I then have this basket which garlic used to sit in. It doesn't smell of garlic and there isn't any garlic in here so I thought why not use it as a toy and it's like natural straw. Um, so it's safe for them and they sometimes play with it when they're out in playtime. I don't really put it in their cage But they like to um, sit in it and I thought it was quite cute Then have the Rosewood Bridge which is Misty's We then have this coagulated um, tunnel We then have one of these hay tunnels from the Woodlands range and this is Mickey's I have another hay tunnel from the Woodlands range and this is Misty's I then have a Woodland Seesaw and this is Mickey's as well we then have this holy tunnel which it was actually Mickey's but he doesn't fit in it anymore so it is Missy's. I did give it to her but she wasn't too fussed that he'd had it before um, and it's just a natural bark one and we got this from a local pet store. And I then have this stuffed carrot wood roll. I then have an empty log which has holes in it and this was from one of the wood rolls and Misty finished it so then she was end up with one of these logs so I thought she could play with it anyway even though there isn't that lovely yummy treat inside. This was also another one and this is also Misty's. I then have a broken Woodlands bridge which was Misty's but it's broken so it's going to be chucked. I then have this wooden Trixie house which I got from Cypress. I then have this empty Lural tube which I haven't given it yet to either of them. And this is a disinfectant rock. And I then have this Woodlands little grassy ball and Tiggs prefers this to be honest more than both the hamsters. It was Misty's, she wasn't fussed. I gave it to Mickey, he wasn't fussed. So really it's Tiggs. <laughs> now moving on to the more colourful wooden toys and plastic toys. Um, in this box I also have stuff in their cages which I will show you quickly. So we have this cheesy cube which is Mickey's and it cost me about £4 from um, the pet hut. We then have this adorable rainbow bridge from um, Board and Breaker and this is Misty's. We then have this um, like activity climb bridge sort of thing which is called a wooden tower. And then we have the return of yet another bendy bridge. I have four of these um, but this one's the colourful one and it's the comfy Cavi one, I think it's from the range, again from Peach Pet Paradise. We then have a Sputnik which neither of the hamsters use or like. We then have two of the play and climb kits, and um, this one's Misty's and that one's Mickey's. We then have the Seesaw Bridge which I share with both the hamsters because this is another toy I usually put out of playtime when they're running around my bedroom. We then have a spare little hut which used to be on Mickey's Savic Cami Cage and a spare ladder. I thought these might come in handy one day. We then have some more critter child tubes and these are also Misty's and these are very fluorescent in colour. I then have some puzzle playground. I also have more in Misty's cage but I've got some pieces here. I've got half a tower and Misty's also got some in her cage. And here we have the piece of puzzle playground that I was talking about. So, it's And the puzzle playground did come with these little ladders as well but I thought these might be handy for other things even though I'm yet to find a use for them. I then have this little hut which neither of the hamsters have adopted. I then have two um, toilet paper covered rolls. I then have this reindeer um, snuggle bed and this is from um, Fairy Friends. It's gorgeous and I'm, I'm saving it for Christmas I think. We then have this hide and seek cube which is Misty's favourite toy. She does have it. these two tubes. And then as most of my subscribers know both my dwarfs have six and a half inch silent spinners and these are wheels I would highly recommend. And we then have one of these extendable tough tubes. I then have these two sort of vases and this is like a little plant pot and this one's a vase to put flowers in. But they're perfectly safe for the hamsters to use. We also have this crinkly tunnel which I only leave out for playtime because there are metal rings in the ends of this and if when they were to be congested it could be very dangerous. I then have some more cardboard tubes. Last toy um, in Misty's cage is the Carly Wonderland bridge and this is Misty's favourite toy. I always go on about this bridge. I nearly bought another one the other day for Mickey. Um, I'm sure I'll purchase another one because Misty's sort of 
weed on hers, but yeah, I got this from my local pet store and it was quite cheap and Misty adores it. Next have these Critter Trail tubes and, and lastly we just have some more Critter Trail tubes and these are also Misty. And one of the last things um, the hamsters have is this little cute elephant hut which everyone adores. Because Misty is in such a deep sleep, I do not want to disturb her, but as you may be able to tell, she's asleep in a strawberry house and that is another little hideout that I have. So here is the hamster's chew box. Most of the stuff that's in here is chews. Um, there may be other various things that I've put in here, but mainly it's chews. Um, it's in a box from Ikea. Um, it's not one of the pull-out drawer ones that have the pink and blue ones over there. It's just like one where you put all your arts and crafts and stuff. And I got a big set of um, six of them, I think, for eight, um, nine pounds maybe. I don't know. But I will make sure I put it in the description. Um, and I store all their chews and like little pieces. So um, there'll probably be occasional things like this where you hook, hook on water to. Um, but mainly it's chews. So I will go through them. First of all, we have these board and breaker nibble sticks from um, the board and breakers range from Via Vet. And then we have these pets at home ones, which are the fruit and veg chews. We then have these good boy wag tastics chewy twist sticks. Now this was in my treat video, but they're chews, so yeah, they're just like little dog chews, um, but they're perfectly safe for her. I then have some of the alpha alpha carrots. Uh, I then have this mineral toothbrush, which I gave to Misty a long time ago, but now she's not fussed by it. And some of the two in one act dental chews. The blue one is Mickey's and he's taken out most of the filling inside and the red one was Misty's. We then have the fruity apple spinners and we then have the hamster times books. Now this was Mickey's and he paid no attention and this was Misty's and she loves it. I then have pieces of Jenga to make things. They're not really chews because I'd prefer it if they didn't chew them. Not that they do because they don't really chew much but um, yeah they sort of in there and they're more for like toys so not really the chewy section. And again, the same sort of thing. These are just like blocks, more for decoration, not really for chewing. I then have about 15 to 20 of these wood chews. We then have another like sort of knobbly Nora thing from Coco and the Crazy Kevy. And again, more of a toy, but it's a toy which encourages chewing. Is this like kebab sort of thing, which um, all furry zoo got us in our trade. I then have this very natural Burke and Bark chew toy from the range Small and Fairy, I think. We then have this pile of apple twigs from Coco and the Crazy Kevy, and we then have this Toys and Trees Ladybug Chew and nearly to the end we have these um, fruit and nut chews. We then have these three chews from Misty's Cage. She's got this bamboo um, shreddy thing from Chinchillas to Shop and this is from Coco and the Crazy Kevy. And she also has an Antos Dog Chew which she's working her way through and I then have this Watermelon Chew which is Misty's. Mickey currently in his cage has this strawberry chew which you hang up from the side. There's also this wet watermelon chew also from Via Vet. I then have some big twigs sticks from um, Fairy Friends and some more from All Fairy Zoo. And I nearly forgot but we have the Woody's Caterpillar which was also buried in Misty's cage. You also may be able to see that Mickey has a football and rugby chain on his cage and that is also a chew that he has in his cage this week. So thank you for watching this video on all the toys and tubes. I hope you enjoyed this video guys, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more. We'll see you next time, bye!